How to save money on recruitment commissions? This is a question a fellow CTO, a friend of mine, has been asking me just recently. So I'm recording video so uh, the rest of you know this strategy also. So if you are a hiring manager, if you are a CTO, if you are a non-tech founder, then you may find this really helpful because you can save money on recruitment commissions. And this is how. First, you can recruit in-house. So um, also the friend of mine, the CTO, has been recruiting in-house for quite some time. And obviously everything has some pros and cons. You save money because you don't have to pay any recruitment fees, but um, you need to invest your time and energy. And um, you can reach some point when um, you will recognize that this is just waste of your time and uh, it's not your co core skill. So at some point it will be better to probably outsource it to someone else. But for the time being, this could be one of the strategies. You know, you as the hiring manager, whether you are a CTO or a um, co-founder of a company, you can do it yourself. You know who to look for. So um, just open up LinkedIn and find some people, talk to them, and maybe you will be lucky and hire some of them with no commission paid. The second option is to have your internal HR team, internal HR department to source IT candidates. But at the same time, I've seen quite a lot of companies, lots of teams um, frustrated because this usually doesn't work, especially if the internal HR person is not aware of the IT landscape. It's really difficult to source these candidates and screen and interview. So, um, you know, this has its own limits. If the hiring manager is a CTO, then uh, he will or she will at least understand the IT landscape, which was in fact the case uh, in my previous company where I was the CTO and I was recruiting and I was hiring myself and it worked like a charm, but obviously I was hitting some limits in how many people can I interview, how many people can I screen because it was not my full-time job, but we saved some money on commissions. The second strategy is to run social media campaigns. So if you would like to get more candidates uh, to apply to your jobs, you can run campaigns on Facebook or on LinkedIn. And that's also what recruiters do usually to fill in their pipeline. And you can use the same tools. You can use the same Facebook ad campaign. You can use the same LinkedIn advertising campaign and you can get people to apply. They may not even apply, but you get their contact details, which is also what we organize for some of our clients. So um, even without revealing too much about the job itself, we organize a campaign to get people interested in the particular company. And then we present them with a few job opportunities. So you can run a campaign like this, but also you may be hitting some limits. Uh, in this case, um, everything has its own pros and cons. The con in this case is that uh, you can waste quite significant budget. We are talking about a few thousands of euros, maybe 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 euros and still not hire anyone. So you need to pay for the advertisement budget, of course, to Facebook or to LinkedIn and you may not get any candidate. While if you engage some recruitment agency, you will only pay the placement fee. So um, you don't invest anything upfront, but the placement fee will be higher. In this case of the social media campaign, the placement fee is zero, but you need to invest some money upfront. So say 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 euros without any guarantee that you will find someone good for the job. And the third option is uh, to get a sourcer. So someone who is uh, not a part of your company, but someone who has really a good experience with uh, IT sourcing, someone who specializes on IT sourcing. Okay, I'll write it here. So it has to be IT sourcer. So someone who understands the IT landscape, the terminology and can find the right candidates based on the right keywords. And then you pay the sourcer per hour. So you don't have to invest money in uh, the commission. You only commission, for example, the sourcer for 20 hours, 30 hours, 100 hours. And the sourcer will provide you a list of potential candidates. So then it will be your job as the CTO or the co-founder of a company to reach out to these people. But the sourcer will give you a short list of uh, potential candidates. 
So everything has its own pros and cons. Uh, obviously, it depends also on the stage of your company. How do you want to um, evolve your in-house team? If you have some internal HR person or internal recruiter, even better, right? Use the internal recruiter. If you don't have such person, it may be overkill in smaller company, then get a sourcer. And I have something really cool and special for you because I, as a part of the Tech Recruitment Academy, have access to a lot of, lot of people who are either sourcers or recruiters. And um, I can organize this sourcer for you. So we have a super special offer available right now. You can get a sourcer for 20 hours for only 397 euros. And this is a really cool and special deal. So um, very little financial investment um, and the great upside because within 20 hours, the sourcer can give you a list of uh, dozens, if not hundreds of candidates. So whether you are looking for a uh, backend developer, front-end developer, mobile app developer, or even some more um, advanced or a niche role like a DevOps engineer or a cybersecurity specialist or a blockchain developer, if you get this sourcer, you just tell him or her who exactly to look for. So the uh, huge advantage of this is the very little um, up from payment and no commission. Okay, so this could be a sweet spot because you don't invest 1,000 or 2,000 euros in a campaign with no guarantee. Also, there is no guarantee with the sourcer, but at least you will have contacts to these people and uh, you can approach them in two months or in two years from now. Um, and the in-house uh, in house um, HR professional may be really tricky, especially if he or she doesn't have any experience with IT recruitment. So if you get this sourcer for 20 hours, then you will get a list of potential candidates to contact to. And the sourcers who go through my program are already well-trained. They know how to use these tools. They have the tools themselves, so you don't have to invest any additional money in providing them the tools, uh, such as um, different Chrome extensions to be more productive or LinkedIn recruiter account, etc. So you save some money on these tools, which is also very cool. So uh, you can just find the link below this video and get the sourcer. You will get access to people who I have trained, people who are willing to work remotely, people who have very flexible schedule and people who want to help you find the right people to join your teams. So people who are excited about tech recruitment. As you can see, I'm super excited about tech recruitment. You know, tech recruitment on fire is uh, also the, the podcast and the YouTube channel I host. So um, as a part of the tech recruitment program, quite a lot of people go through my, uh, my program, my courses, and they look for opportunities to work for interesting companies. So if you are one of these uh, hiring managers or founders of a company and you wonder how to not pay too much money on recruitment commissions, then the third option could be probably the best. But hey, let's talk about it. We can uh, discuss your unique situation and then I'll be able to advise on the best next step. So why don't you just find the link below this video, fill in the contact form and uh, we will take it from there. We will talk about the recruitment strategy that fits your unique situation best and we will take it from there. So fill in the form below this video and uh, we will keep in touch. Have a wonderful day.